Welcome to the set of Armored Chocobo is a Big Poopy Jerk, Part 2! The revengeancing against the return of the Son of Gogolor. I reprise my role as the Son of Gogolor, monster that gains psychic powers after a horrifying ping-pong accident. Previously, I entered the poking lungfish's mind, and now I'm pretty much a psychic Godzilla, breaking up this town. Smashing citizens! Orphanage. Heading for orphanages! There seems to be a lot of orphanages in this town. And look, a duffel bag! The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gugalore. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. By that newscast, it means I'm going to get shot at now. So, it's time to equip my new power! Shield! I don't need invisibility here. I need the power of shield. Just like invisibility, it needs to charge. But that'll protect us against pretty much any laser attacks or psychic attacks. And also, this guy needs a tag that we really can't get to right now. So we might as well work on that. Now, after that newscast, we're going to be attacked by tanks. They'll fire missiles at us. That wasn't the orphanage. Ah, drat. I need to find this orphanage. I need to stop it. You can swat missiles out of the air with your claw, but your, your best idea is to use your shield when they come at you. They won't be able to hurt you as long as you have your shield up. And also, they'll try running away from you. And I think you can actually grab the tanks, too. Unless I can get a hold of one. Yeah! I got a tank now! Take that, tank! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know what that was all about, but this is the laser tunnel. You might be fooled in going off in that direction. We'll be going there later. We need to go in here now. If you don't put up your shield fast enough, that kind of stuff happens. And then your camera freaks out and you need to adjust it. That's how we solve laser problems! Now let's go and rescue that pilot. Let's get our ears assaulted by a whole bunch of tank sounds. Hmm, very good. Let's grab some cobwebs. That proves that we're inside somebody's mind. And right over here is the duffel bag tag. I'll need to head, to head back to the duffel bag. Now one thing you need to learn about this place is the vaults are very, very small. That's a vault over there. You're no bigger than a Lungfishopolis citizen. So you might hit them without knowing it. Lungfishopolis, under siege! Ah, it was a nice ocean community in his brain until Cochamara arrived. He brainwashed everybody like a giant monster Ultraman looking god and ordered them to build a city in his honor. Lungfishopolis. And thus, the resistance began. Led by those slungfish people we saw before, wearing headbands. You know the rebels when they wear headbands like that. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gagalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. So, what are they gonna do with that blimp? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe they'll rain death from the sky. From over there. Apparently being in prison turns you delightfully British. That's my assumption. Well, we're done with this area. This level, the first time I played it, I got lost because I didn't realize the laser tunnel was this close. I thought it was all the way across town. But no, that's where the blimp headed. And don't forget the duffel bag. It's back where we started. So we might as well go and get that. Get shot at by all these tanks! Keep it down! Monsters are trying to sleep! Monsters are trying to squish your citizens! Monsters are trying to sort some emotional baggage. 
You want to do lots of things. They're nosy like that. You, tank, you're mine now. Get over here. Ha! I have mind powers, you can't stop me! Also, if you jump in the water here, your additional bulk will only let you bounce off the water once before you get dragged down. So, don't get too bold about it. Stay on the road. And also, there seems to be a new tank here that the newscast did not warn us about. Why? Ah, there we go, there it is. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity! Oh no, not hyper-electricity! My only weakness! How will I be able to stop it? Oh right, I have a shield. It causes a little bit of iffy timing now, because you have to wait till they hit you with it, and then you have to have enough shield to aim it right back. Of course you could punch them and throw tanks at them. Or you could grab this purse tag on top of this building. This is when the levels start hiding the tags and the bags from you. I don't. I think this is the last level I'm actually going to be able to collect them all, because they get kind of devious. I'm trying to remember where the, the bag is for this. Oh, I just looked at my notes. We're not going to be happy about this, but we need to head all the way back to the pilot's prison. That's where the purse is. Also, buildings can be oddly effective at climbing and dodging things. Get out of my way, guys. I'm busy trying to collect baggage. Jeez. Haven't they watched the old Toho movies? Missiles don't really work very well against monsters. Nor is bullets. I was watching Cloverfield recently, and I was wondering why the heck are these guys using AK-47s when they obviously can't kill the monster with them. Oh well. Maybe the answer is in this bag. It's a little disturbing though because that purse obviously looks like a girl purse. But if you listen to it cry, it sounds like a big burly man monster crying. I don't know, that unsettles me a little bit. Oh, you might be wondering, is this how fast we can run? The answer is yes. You can go a little bit faster by bunny hopping, but other than that, this is as fast as you go. So enjoy it! Smash some citizens like I'm doing. They're only figments of the, ho the lungfish's imagination. It doesn't matter if they die. It doesn't matter if they have terrible property values after this encounter. So, the next is... More of this! More newscasts! Destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer Navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogalore. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Not get caught stealing Something children. tells me that I'm not welcome in this town. I don't know what it is, but we have to deal with anti-monster turrets now. As soon as you see that symbol come up, get ready to get your shield up. And then punch it! Ha! Now you see the genius of our plan, Gogalore. First we print flyers, then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Lungfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? If you don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within a week. So, they're gonna rain something down on the townspeople, but it ain't gonna be destruction. I wonder what else we can do with this bridge. With this, uh, blimp. Maybe we could hey! bounce on it. Yeah, and it'll take us right up over the dam. The game even tells you to use the blimp if you don't figure it out on your own. Man, that blimp is pretty potent at shoving up stuff. And now the hatbox tag! 
I was gonna say, and now for the hat box, which is going to be right across this dam. Okay, they weren't that great at hiding stuff, I'll admit. And also, I could collect these figments, but why? I'm gonna get a rank up after all this. Hmm, maybe I should be collecting figments. That's nowhere near my goal of getting a Psy Blast upgrade. I'm three away! I know where the next bag is, but we're gonna have to go into the heart of Lungfish Lungfishopolis. That thing is a surprising tongue twister, you try saying it. It's a little it's a little hard to get across the your linguist skills and stuff. Shut up. I'm the one playing this, not you. You commentate over with your own stuff then. And I got an ammo up! Excellent! I don't really need much many ammo ups. And that happens from time to time. You know what it is. You know how it's all about. I, I try to ignore them. But sometimes they just want to be like that. And also, if you haven't realized by now, tanks are now firing hyper-electricity. And also, so are the boats. But you can hit them with a side blast, but it's a little hard, because some of them are out of range. Like that one over there. I can't seem to lock onto it. And these stupid rockets, they know how to home in now. I'm not one of those cold-blooded monsters. Steam Trunk is a little bit out of the way. There's a giant suspension bridge that you would have no business going across. Unless you're going for the steam trunk. And another vault. I ran across a vault in that area. Very hard to see, though. But, thankfully, suspension bridge is actually a tightrope and you move quicker across it. Why is it giving me life ups? I don't need any of those. It's ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. Look at them. They were waiting for me. Ah, I hit the vault. I don't know where it is, but I hit it. It's all about the lungfish and his origins of the hulking lungfish. It's been captured by Dr. Lobato and Oleander and turned into a giant mutant and then sent upon the campers and the children to steal brains. He got everybody but me. And now I'm going to cure him. He'll be on my side now. But I have to get rid of all these missile tanks. Hyperelectricity! No! Do not do! Gogolore hate all the hyperelectricity! My tank! Take this! I don't know what I did, but I killed it. Oh wait, I used my shield. That's what I did. And just because I can. And now we have to head back across this thing, because this is not the way we're supposed to go. We're supposed to head deep into town now. Right over there. No side scrapers. This is just a little side route if you want secrets. You do want secrets, don't you? You in the back, why don't you want secrets? You get hyper-electricity now. You get a hyper-electricity rocket, I send it to you with ire. I can do that now. I have control of my own navy. The Choco Navy. They use, um, hyper... radiation. Hyper fire. It's better than hyper electricity. Now, something's supposed to be happening around here. Where, where is it? Maybe I should search some of these buildings. Hmm. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm ahead of myself. We. That actually looks a lot more fun than it looked, even though it was really, really slow. All oh, right, I have to go across this thing. You have to grind the monorail. And we're gonna run into a hatbox tag. Or, not a hatbox, a baggage tag at the end of this thing. Speed up, Raz! You're so slow on this thing! Go faster! Jeez, it even slows down your monster grinding. Oh, what does this jerk want now? We're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore! I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. <laughs> Airplanes! <laughs> so rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. 
and to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogolor, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogolor, we, uh, uh... We just think it best to... to uh, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gogolor. Yes, that, and for freedom. Look, if those guys could just say, hey, we're huge cowards and we want you to do everything, I'll, I'll just, I'll roll with that. I'm used to that kind of thing. But no, they have to make up lame excuses like that. It's so dumb. It was even dumber, the Navy has airplanes, and I don't think that's Buddy Finn at all. What is that announcer trying to pull? I'm offended now, and I'm gonna r climb this building with my rage. And also, I'm gonna collect this baggage with my rage. RAGE! Okay, I'm actually missing something. Maybe... Maybe we should check my, uh... My progress real quick. Oh, right, I forgot the steam trunk. Hmm, yeah, it's on a building back by the bridge. Well, I'll skip it. You know where it is, you know how to get there. I forgot to grab it. I, I just hit the vault and left. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, th that's what I said about missing the baggage. It's, it's a little devious at times. You shush, you wouldn't even know it was there if I didn't tell you anyway. It's so far out of the way. Now we gotta kill planes with our mind. We can't log on to them, but they're pretty hard to hit. And also, they'll run into you and knock you off buildings. They're kamikaze planes. Also, I want to get up this thing. I saw an extra life extension there. And I want it. But I climb these buildings so slow. Darn it. And uh, my time is quickly running out, too. We're going to have to wait till next time to fight Kochamara. Next time on Psychonauts, I finish off these planes and we fight with Kochamara because no one else wants to. Good night, folks.